if your desk looks anything like mine, you're probably not as productive as you could be. All of that stuff around, it just really stifles your thinking, it stifles your crea creativity, and it really is a distraction. According to organization motivation host Deb Cabral, decluttering will boost your workflow. First, set up an efficient filing system. Think before you pile and think before you file. Deb says if you're a piler, you need an EFS, efficient filing system. Oh, look, some hot sauce. That's not a part of the EFS. What we find is that 80% of what we file, we never use again. Only keep things you're gonna reference again. Second, nothing on your desk that you don't use every day. Use it and put it away. We find that a lot of desks could have things that were on it from maybe a week ago. Have your desk be a very clean and orderly place where you can create and be as productive as possible. It's not even doing anything. This is, this is an easy one. Next, minimize personal items, maximize work productivity. This is not just a personal item. And now that the Warriors are winning, you want me to remove it from my desk? I can't do that to Steph Curry. If you have too much out, you don't see any of it. Keeping those trinkets and those other things to a minimum because whether you realize it or not, they are a distraction to you. No matter how hard it seems, three to five items max. I'm supposed to take down personal items? How can I do that when obviously my child is Matisse? And the final way to clear your desk and mind, end of day cleanup. There's nothing worse than leaving, you know, a full day of work with your desk in, you know, just disarray. To maintain the cleanliness of your workspace, Deb says take the last five to ten minutes of every workday to clear it off. So you don't take today's clutter into tomorrow. Cleaning up your desk act on the to-do list.